like yours I could have any day and it's no nay never so part three still shows us in Waterford Tris was so excited at the chance to take us to a museum so we decided to go and experience the Dombrody famine ship Yahoo! Tris thought this was an essential part of our trip as we just landed in the country Tris wanted to show us why people had left the country but obviously this was down to the famine Apparently in June 2013, a spark from the eternal flame at John F. Kennedy's gravesite in Arlington was brought to New Ross, County Wexford, to light a monument in celebration of the 50th anniversary of his visit. This is where the saying, have we got a light, John, came from. We managed to jump on an American tour. We were the youngest by about 100 years, then went for the ticket office, got our boarding passes, and then boarded the ship for our guided tour. We were rapidly losing the kids' attention, but luckily there was a phone signal, so they were okay after all. Although this was a recreation of the ship, you could see that there was absolutely no luxury crossing, as a double glazing was retrofitted and it's had a lick of paint since. At once on board, they took us downstairs to the steerage, where there was a couple of actors that actually took us through what may have happened on that crossing. They also cross-examined Triss and put her right on the spot. She loved it. Yahoo! <laughs> so from Wexford to Cork with a brief stop at Kilkenny. So Kilkenny's home to about 155 pubs, including the Langtons, where Tris decided to have a nice glass of wine with Emily, whilst myself and Zach walked around the town and took in the sights. Then once the horses were watered, it was back in the car and on our way, at last, to Cork. 